Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to August of 2022. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Yeah, so keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. This does not have to resonate for you at any specific moment in your life. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that time, even though it is dated for or is being channeled for the month of August. Yeah, just keep in mind, this is a timeless reading, okay? Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, especially if you are new here, yeah? Uh, subscribing and interacting with the channel and especially leaving me a comment in the comment section down below will help me connect with you, which will also help me pick up on more of your energy. So if you're looking for more readings for you potentially in the future, definitely get subscribed and leave me a comment if you feel so inclined. I am available for personal readings if you guys are interested in that. Check out the description box where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than pleased this punch to get you all set up. Yeah, Aries? All right, cool. Two more shuffles here for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on for Aries for the month of August of 2022? Please, Spirit. Last shuffle here. So, Aries, I'm seeing... Um, I'm strongly seeing green energy for you, all right? Um, and this might, <laughs> I don't know, I kind of feel like I sound like a broken record when I say this, but at least at this moment, this green energy is giving me a feeling, Aries, that you are very connected with yourself at this time. Um, I feel like you've been working on that for an extended period of time. And at this point in your life or at this point in your journey, we'll say, um, I definitely feel like your connection with yourself is much stronger than it used to be. Um, and you're starting to, to recognize or experience or be able to be consciously aware of the changes that are happening in your life in relation to how you have been connecting with yourself here. And there's definitely a sense, Aries, of living a more authentic life, you know, something that is much more true to yourself, your sense of well-being and your sense of identity. And that's really, really awesome, Aries. I love that for you. Congratulations on that because really the work that you've been doing to get yourself there, even though it may have been really, really difficult, really tough, um, and as you were going through it, you didn't really see how things were going to change or how these, how this mm, time period of working on yourself, developing your sense of self-awareness has been adjusting your life and helping you. But now you're getting to a point where you're slowly but surely starting to see the positive effects of all the work you've been doing on in terms of cultivating a greater sense of self-awareness. And so that's really beautiful for you. I'm really excited to see what the rest of this reading is for you. Okay, I had to pause for a second because I wanted to get some more. I wanted to top off my coffee here. All right. Um, so let's get into the rest of this reading here for you, Aries. I'm curious to see what this card is. As you can see, it's kind of adjacent here. It is the moon. Okay, so what I'm hearing for the moon here is um, the illusionary process or the illusions of the process. The moon energy here is really giving me, is confirming really this sense of um, you working on yourself and not really seeing the effects of it immediately, okay? It's been an illusion, okay? There's been a lot of, maybe there's been a lot of subconscious work that you've been doing or a lot of it, a lot of the uh, results of what you've been doing have been kind of hidden for a while, but again, they're starting to emerge, okay? So that's really good. So let's see, what's this, what's the message for Aries for the month of August? There you go, first card Aries is the Eight of Pentacles. That's awesome. Okay, with that Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like you're going to be continuing to do this work. Um, and a lot of the effects, because the effects of what you've been doing, Aries, are starting to be, I feel like are start, you're starting to notice them, that's making you feel more inclined to continue doing the work. You may have actually been fairly reluctant to keep going. There may have been a point, Aries, where you were like, I don't know if this is working. I don't know if I should still do this, blah, blah, blah. But now that you're starting to see now the effects of, of the work that you've been doing is starting to kind of like trickle in. 
I feel like that's making you more enthusiastic or at least is giving you an energy of, okay, well, I can see myself continuing to do this. Uh, I'm hearing encouragement, okay? Encouragement to continue doing the work, crafting something. You may also be working on a new career path or an adjustment to your career path that either seems to be working for you physically, like working out physically, you're receiving the results that you've desired or some semblance of the results that you desire. Um, or it just, it feels right. Um, it's flowing. Okay. I lost where I was going with that. Anyway, that's another cute little sidebar, but let's see what these other two cards are here. Oh goodness. Eight of pentacles to the eight of swords and then the five of wands. Okay. That's interesting, but that makes sense. Well, it, not that it makes sense, but it's, it's okay. Well, it does make sense because that can give us something to talk about here. There's something to talk about here. Oh, and then would you look at that, Aries? The moon is still at the bottom of the deck as your overall energy right now. Okay. Well, I'm glad I looked at that. Um, all right. So this is interesting, Aries. This is hitting me more in terms of career path. It doesn't have to be though, you know, it could be anything in your life. I am getting career from this eight of pentacles here, but you have the eight of swords, which does talk about um, mental entrapment, feeling trapped somehow. I so, okay, so Aries, this level of self-awareness that I feel like you've been really working on over this time period is bringing forward certain ways that you have been trapped or held back. You, this is a kind of an energy of facing your fears and working through them. The moon represents subconscious energies, represents fear, represents illusions, something that may have been hidden, something that may have been misunderstood, okay? Um, lacking in understanding, potentially lacking, lacking in avail uh, or, or lacking in the ability to see something very clearly. And this may be something that you have actually been um, harboring or, or, or been under the effects of for a good portion of your life. But the thing about this, Aries, is that at this point, because you've been working so diligently on yourself and you're, you've got this strong heart chakra centeredness energy of you in which I guess you're developing or heart chakra, you're developing heart chakra awareness or your heart chakra is healing and expanding. It's actually bringing forward to your awareness certain ways that you have been held back. The ways that you have allowed yourself to be held back is really what I want to say about it because you've accepted some sort of conditioning that has kept you in or allowed you to stay in this place of feeling restricted or feeling held back. But then the good thing about this Aries is that with this eight of swords, you then have the eight of, oh, I'm sorry, the five of wands. So this to me is saying that you're working these things out as they come up to the surface for you. You are diligently moving through them. Okay, the five of wands definitely, could, uh, definitely in this case at least represents internal conflict, but it's not the internal type, the type of internal conflict that is like um, you're fighting with yourself constantly, or you're in all this turmoil or conflict, and you can't seem to get out of it. It's a one big mess. It's like a cl clusterfuck, really of, of um, conflict, but that's not how I'm seeing it in this sense. What I'm seeing is the five of wands is actually representing for you, Aries, a moment of working it out, ironing things out. The five of wands doesn't always have to be bad or negative or low vibrational. Yes, it can represent arguments. It can represent one-upmanship. You know, it can represent ego battles. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of energy. There was a, another phrase that was coming to mind, but I can't, I can't really quite remember it. So I'm not going to say it, but, um, in, in this case, the five of wands represents working at working on the situation or finding, working towards finding a resolution. I want to say ironing out the kinks, working it out, you know, like rolling it out, making it all, making it all, or at least working on making it all copacetic. Okay. All right, that's cool. So let's get into this a, a, a little bit deeper. I wanna dive deeper into this. Show us what the Eight of Swords is for Aries, please, for this message for August of 2022. What's the Eight of Swords for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please, Spirit? Oh yeah, it's definitely conditioning. It is definitely, definitely conditioning. Anything else for the Eight of Swords? Yes, okay. Ooh, we got four cards. All right, the first card you have here is the Four of Swords. With that, you do have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is in reverse. Okay, so I saw the Hierophant come out. 
um, and then it flipped, it flipped down. So it, it technically came out face down, but I saw it when it flipped out and I saw that it was the higher font. I did not see it flip in reverse though. When I saw it, it, it was upright. Um, but I like that it's in reverse too. Uh, in, at least in this case, because the Hierophant would in fact represent that sense of conditioning, um, whether it's from society as a whole in general, which I feel like it definitely, there's definitely some parts of that for, for you guys. It may also be very specifically familial, okay? Familial conditioning, um, social norms, social standards, all that kind of energy. But what this was, was... Um, or, well, I should say what this is, is a representation of all the conditioning that has held you back. And there, I want to say that there is something here that is causing you to reassess how you feel or what you think or how you resonate with this, these energies or these restrictions or this conditioning or whatnot, whatever, how you resonate with it now or how you don't resonate with it at all. You're calling it into question. There is also a level of personal authority that seems to be coming through for you, Aries, that is kind of trumping whatever the Hierophant would have represented for you, okay? Next two cards. Two of Wands, Queen of Swords. I mean, like... <laughs> And then the overall energy is the Two of Pentacles. You can't get any more blatant than this. Two of Pentacles would rep 11, 11 on the counter. Two of Pentacles would represent kind of waffling back and forth sometimes, maybe some sort of indecision, juggling energies. Um, but in this case, I kind of getting, I'm getting, um, weighing your pros and cons. So taking it, and it either, it may be taking two instances of conditioning that seems to have been held, holding you back and weighing those options and seeing whether you want to drop both of them or drop one and keep the other. It could also be a type of situation where you have like, say in one hand, you have old conditioning that you were brought up on, I'll say. And then in the other hand or the other pentacle would be a new sense of self, a new way of thinking about it a new way of relating to whatever situation or circumstance you are deliberating over, I want to say, and weighing those options and recognizing how heavy the old option may be and how light, how much lighter and more freeing the new option may be and uh, um, comparing and contrasting in that sense. That's what I'm getting from the Two of Pentacles here. Now, continuing with clarifying the Eight of Swords, you have quite straight up straight up and down you guys i mean this is pretty this is th th this is pretty straightforward you have the two of wands here which is about making a decision again just like that two of pentacles energy but in the two of pentacles it's very practical you're weighing the options in the two of wands energy energy you are choosing which direction you want to go, go in in relation to how it is you feel or who you are in this moment and time there's a very discerning energy about this with the queen of swords here it, it's at like it, for some of you or or maybe for all of you but just in maybe in different ways or to varying degrees there is a level of personal authority that is coming in here recognize that this is not represented by the king of swords in fact it's represented by the queen of swords the king of swords is the type of energy or the type of individual to look at everything objectively get all of the evidence and then make a call from there but that's not where we are here we're at the queen of swords energy so this is that moment where um there's strong level of discernment here and it's very much like you're going in on your own sense of personal authority there is something very very personal about this discernment that you are exhibiting right now in terms of cutting yourself free from some sort of mental conditioning or some sort of conditioning mentally or something going on mentally that has been holding you back Okay, so with the Queen of Swords, I'm getting very specifically that it's very personal to you as an individual, Aries. It's not like you're trying to see how you can fit in with the world or, or how, how you fit in with the world or conditioning or, or um, belief systems as they stand. Instead, you are trying to deliberate how all of those external belief systems or narratives or conditioning or whatnot, whatever, how that resonates with you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then you cut it out or at least you're in the process in a mode of, or in a desire to cut it out. Okay. That's excellent, Aries. I mean, this is, this is absolutely you expressing a level of personal authority that you may not have allowed yourself to express previously. And I would definitely say that is a strong sense of personal liberation. 
Okay, cute Aries. All right, so um, next, what I wanna look at here, let's clarify this Five of Wands. This pro What I'm hearing for this Aries is this Five of Wands would represent the process of understanding or the process of coming to an understanding. Like I said, this Five of Wands energy does not feel bad for you right now. It just feels like the process of you coming to a sense of equilibrium within self, a sense of understanding certain situations or circumstances so that you can iron the situation out for in terms of which is best for you or what is best for you, okay? This Five of Wands feels good. It feels like a clearing process, even though it is probably pretty fairly difficult or fairly uncomfortable, sure. Ultimately, it's a good process to be in. I'm getting very strong, healthy vibes from this Five of Wands energy. Ironing out a, a sense of personal authority or ironing things out in your life in terms of a greater sense of personal authority can only lead you to better experiences in the near future okay so let's talk about this clarify the five of wands for aries uh sun moon rising and north node please spirit five of wands for this aries collective reading okay cool so obviously you do have the ten of cups here that did show itself face up with that we're starting you with the knight of wands reversed to the Ten of Cups, to the Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Cups. Wow. Again, Aries, we are back to the moonscape. Okay. Uh, I just heard a deep sense of personal deception. Um, you may be coming to a realization, Aries, that you may have been deceiving yourself over all this time about the nature of reality or how it is, your place within it is what I'm hearing, how it resonates for you, how you fit within it. You have, we're starting you off here, clarifying the Five of Wands. You have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, so this is definitely speaking to a sense of not necessarily wanting to move in the same direction that you have always been. And I definitely feel like this is now being influenced in terms of the Ten of Cups here. I am seeing this heart chakra based energy for you. So it seems here, Knight of Wands reversed, you're not moving about in moving forward in the same ways that you have been, or you're not as passionate about some of the same things that you've been involved with. Um, over this time, you're not as passionate about them anymore. It seems that you have come to a certain understanding of just how limiting those situations have been with the Seven of Pentacles. And as a result, you're moving forward in a much different way. You have the King of Cups here. So you're facing things in a much different way. You're very much heart chakra based. Again, I'm seeing this heart chakra energy in the Ten of Cups. But now as I'm speaking through this, I'm also seeing it with the King of Cups. A lot of what it is a lot of the change in direction that you seem to be aligning with right now is coming from a place of you doing, uh, holding a sense of emotional responsibility, what I'm hearing, and emotional maturity to really be able to look at the things that have been restricting you or standing in your, in your way all this time and recognize that if it is restricting you in ways that you do not deem to be profitable for you is what I'm hearing, whether that's physically or energetically spiritually it's not profitable um it's not working it doesn't it's not right for you whatnot whatever you are having the emotional maturity to not only face that but to stand in the new energy that does hopefully i want to say get you to where it is you want to go or get you to experience what it is you truly want to be experiencing okay and i say hopefully not to say that there is really you know there's some shaky energy here and you're probably not going to get what you want you most likely are going to get what you want but it's not necessarily happening or uh, you're not necessarily seeing it right now i do kind of get an energy of this is a preliminary process where you iron out or you work out the energies internally and then allow that new sense of equilibrium to start resonating from you, emanating from you, that then ultimately over time allows your physical experience to change, to reflect the new energy that you are expressing. But in order to do that, you're gonna have to stand in your power for an extended amount of time while you're not necessarily seeing the effects on the surface. But again, Aries, this is all wrapped up into this whole process for you because at this point, I feel like you've been doing 
a sufficient amount of work for an, a sufficient amount of time for the effects to be to start to be seen and or expressed in your physical reality. And right now, that seems like or that is coming across as you questioning old situations or old restrictions that are that you no longer want to be restricted by. And there is a sense here of you reaching a point where you're starting to recognize the fruits of your labor, which is only encouraging you to keep going in this way, Eight of Pentacles. So you're standing right now in relation to or in clarifying this Five of Wands energy of desiring to, needing to iron out the king. There is a level of you standing in a strong sense of personal awareness and also emotional strength and stability to allow yourself to weather the storm of how it is you are ch looking to change your experience right now. This is really awesome, Aries. This is really, really awesome. I truly commend you for this because this is a really mature energy and that's beautiful. Last thing I want to look at here for you, Aries, is this Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please, Spirit. Clarify this process of work, the Eight of Pentacles for Aries, please. Wow, okay, well, would you look at that? The first card you have here that came out did come out face down, it is the Four of Cups, okay? to the King of Swords and then the Ten of Swords. So there you go. There's that King of Swords energy here. Excuse me. So, um, and then let's see, overall energy at the bottom of the deck, bam, is 100% straight up on unadulterated independence. Overall energy now is the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful, Aries. So, in terms of this work that you are doing, obviously there is something here that you don't want to vibe with any longer. You don't want to tango with any longer. There's something that is leaving you feeling unsatisfied, unfulfilled, four of cups. And then, hey, here's Aries. Okay, well, what does that mean then? King of Swords. What is it that is leaving me with this sense of lacking in fulfillment? And what do I need to do to change and or end that cycle or those energies? There you go, King of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So you do have a strong level here of decisiveness, yes, but also a strong level of, dis of, of objective discernment. Now, of course, it's... Mm, okay, this discernment, actually, to be quite honest with you, is not so objective, is a little more subjective than objective. What do I mean by that? Objective is you are completely removed, straight up, 100% third party here. You have nothing to do with this. You're just taking it strictly the facts, just the facts, ma'am. Okay, there is a level of that objectiveness coming through for you here, but there is also a strong level of subjectiveness. Why? Because you are, this is you, this is your life, this is from your belief systems or what resonates with you, what vibes from you, your sense of personal independence and sovereignty, being able to think for yourself. So while you're being objective in terms of, okay, what is it that is leaving me feeling a lack of fulfillment and how can I bring that to an end? There's also a stronger level of subjectiveness saying to you, okay, well, this doesn't work for me. So I'm being objective because I'm looking at the situation and trying to see it for what it is, but also my decision-making process in this is very much in tune with or in align with who, alignment with who I am, Nine of Pentacles. And that's where the subjectiveness comes into it, okay? So there is, and, and, and quite honestly, Aries, this subjectiveness is absolutely 100% necessary. Uh, I feel like some of you may be either hearing that or already consciously aware of this aspect and you might be having trouble with the fact that there is such a strong level of subjectiveness that's coming through in terms of this decision-making process you are going through right now. But you need to understand, Aries, that this subjectiveness is needed, is necessary, is very well placed, okay? If there was any a moment, if there was ever a moment in life to lean on a personal level of, of subjective subjectivity or subjective consciousness or subjective uh, frame of mind, this would be it. Why? Because you are working in working on getting into a greater alignment with yourself. This is your life. You are expressing this level of personal authority here. Okay, so if you're having trouble with accepting the level of subjectivity that is needed here, understand that this is the, uh, the decisions you're making for yourself are just that 
for yourself, Aries. So this subjectiveness is needed. Do not allow anything or anyone to make you feel guilty for that. It's your life. You do what, what, what you do with it what you desire or what you deem is necessary. Understand also that many of that in working with this any energy of developing yourself and becoming more self-aware and opening up your heart chakra and working on being more authentic, all of the guidance that is coming through for you in this highest place or in this highest way, this best way, is coming from a higher place. And that higher place is in fact your higher self. And only you have that connection with your higher self to really fully, truly, effectively see, hear, understand, and take action towards what is best for you. There is no other human being on the face of this planet that knows you or what's best for you better than you and your own higher self, okay? So again, I, I don't know why, but some of you may be going through an experience where um, the reality or the reflection of this past conditioning is partially uh, having to do with you um, disconnecting from yourself and not truly listening to yourself. That may have been something that really plagued you over your life up until this point, but that was just a control tactic. Again, that was Hierophant energy. That was conditioning, okay? And a level, an, a level of the Hierophant is very controlling, all right? Is very much controlling in terms of a hierarchy, okay? Or a higher a, a, a people or institutions or situations that, for better or for worse, just want to control you. Okay, and I'm not here to, to, to deliberate whether that's for better or for worse, but ultimately we can say it's not for you, so you're taking up this sense of personal authority to change your life for the better. I hope I explained that correctly because I feel like I lost something there. But anyway, let's get a final, close, final closing message for you, Aries. In terms of this message for you, for the month of August 2022 and beyond. Final closing message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, please, Spirit. For this reading, okay. Okay, excellent. Overall energy, now you are not the nine of pentacles, but the nine of cups. This is also a very important part of this decision-making process. Yes, nine of pentacles being independent, sovereign, and a free thinker. Nine of cups be, is being connected to or understanding of what it is that you what that truly makes you happy. Okay, now, final closing message. You do have the Magician in reverse to the Two of Cups, to the Knight of Swords, to the Two of Swords. Actually, let's do it this way. Two of Swords to the Knight of Swords. So, the Magician in reverse is not bad. Um, ultimately, it does represent the past energies in you feeling blocked and or restricted in terms of manifesting exactly what it is that you want in life or experiencing the things that truly would make you happy or what it is you want to be experiencing in your life as an individual. With that, we come to the Two of Cups. Now, also, the um, the magician here, though, represents you working on getting that back or getting that sense of truth back, okay? And you do that by focusing on your connection with yourself, understanding who it is you truly are, being your, being your own boyfriend or girlfriend, being your own spouse or your own mate at this time, really truly understanding yourself intrinsically is what I'm getting from this Two of Cups energy. Uh, reconciling and healing the, uh, the, the discrepancies that, that may be a part of your reality in terms of your inner masculine and inner feminine energy. Reconciling that and bringing these two energies back together so that you can get back into this creative energy of creating or manifesting exactly what it is that you want and then fighting the ways two of swords knight of swords fighting the ways in which you have been blind or which you have been blinded or which you have been able have been unable to see or really two of swords can also represent ways that you have been restricted okay two of swords knight of swords fighting against that fighting back clearing out that energy so that you can be more clear more objective and more aware to um, manifest the things that you want in life. This is really excellent, Aries. I'm loving this for you, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonated for you or helped you, um, and that helps you get your energy in here. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, check the description box below. But 
Yes, with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, Aries, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.